All right, we are going to take a look at the new Seven Days to Die Mod Launcher V5 today. So this is the first I have messed with it. So I have to do my first install, and this will always pop up because, well, it doesn't know anything. So just hit that and run, and you're good. And then I get this, and we'll hit yes on that. And now we should do the install thing, which normally it would tell me it's doing something. Ah, it did. Here it is. Found it. All right, so next install so now i should be getting a auto launch and it also gave me this nice little shortcut here on my desktop which will be on my regular desktop let's hit this button and see what this thing does which obviously goes on my other screen, so you guys don't get to see the splash screen. Um, okay, I already have a problem with this thing. No way of minimizing or moving it. Um... Yeah, the regular Windows buttons at the top are missing. Let me see if I can switch you over to that screen. There we go. So now we're on that screen. And it looks nice and clean, but there's, there's no buttons up here. Where's the buttons? All right. But it says my default folder is this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change this to F. That is where I want it to go to. I'm going to hit save. So now it tells me that that is where it's going to go. It doesn't say the available disk space now. I'm wondering if it takes time to read it. But it doesn't say that now. Where it did for C. So that's one thing. Alright, so... Install new mod. Pick a mod alongside panel. Um, this mod is already installed. And here are our mods. Let's see here. Most everybody... We'll probably be doing Darkness Falls, so let's go ahead and install. Still downloading. There's our play button. There's our... I have no idea what these are. <laughs> I've never seen an actual, like, information thing on it. You may choose a different version from the mod to play. If you want to play an older version of the mod, you can select the previous one. Yeah. All right. So it's installing. Give me a minute. And when it gets done installing, I'll be right back. Okay. It just got done. Shows right there. It is complete. And there is now a play button right here. It is nice that it auto detects where my game is installed to. I could add a new one. And I could also clone it. There's a button to open the website for Darkness Falls there. So that's quite nice. Take me to their Discord. So I'll click off of that because I don't need to go to their Discord. That's quite nice. There's a mod settings. Uh, don't touch that. That's 
bad. Backup manager. Yeah. All right. And then let's see. Added modlets. Empty. Hit the plus button. Uh, close, manage, force refresh. Not sure why it says label here. I, I don't know what that is. Manage local repo. Uh, let's for this overhaul. Didn't it give me a list of what modlets is in here? Leak the local cache file and re-download a fresh list from the internet. This process can take a few minutes to complete. Well, let's try it. Let's see what it does. If it did anything, I can't tell. It says list is empty, so we'll just leave that. But that should be all it takes to install and play the mod. And if something ever fails, we have a log files that opens up right there is the log files so we can check out what is right and what is wrong so other than this not updating when I changed I think everything looks great I still don't understand this but yeah I like it so uh Try it out, guys. See what you think.